All right, what's up everyone? Duquesne23 here, and today I'm gonna to be teaching y'all how to create simple roads from splines similar to the one that you see right here. So the first thing you need to do after you go ahead and create your landscape is come up here to the selection mode and go into the landscape area. Now this, you will see splines right here. You can also create, you know, and sculpt. This is how you sculpt your landscape and everything. But since we're creating splines, this is it right here. Now what you're going to do is come down to layers. Uh, the reason why you want to do this is so that way you have your splines on a separate layer. You go to create and then you want to rename this one roads. I suggest doing this off of any layers that you create, renaming it to whatever you want to be able to name it. Uh, so that way, whenever you're making something, you know what layer goes to what. And also you want to reserve this layer for splines itself. Hit yes right here. And there you go. Now you have yourself a layer that's reserved for splines. So now the very first thing is your, what you're gonna do is hold control and click somewhere wherever you wanna start. So I'm gonna go ahead and click right there. And then as you're forming out this way, you could see that the road is starting to form from the spline. I'm gonna go ahead and go up right here. So a little steep in here and go like this, come around over here. Now, if you need to move, feel free to just let go of control move your camera around to wherever you need to go. Like so, I'm coming around this side of the mountain right here. Then you hold control down again and you go ahead and click. And if you notice, the terrain also forms to the spline itself. Uh, that is a very useful feature. Uh, so that way you can actually have like terrain forming and it will, you know, cut through the terrain. So you don't have to try to perfectly do it every single time, like making sure the terrain doesn't get, you know, messed up with the spline itself. So there we go. We just clicked on the very first point to reconnect it back in there. But if you notice, look, we got a very nice start to a wonderful road. Great looking racetrack right here. By the way, talking about racetracks, I am in the middle of making one here in UEFN. It's going to be a little bit because I'm trying to make it as good as possible. But yeah, so the next thing that you're going to be doing from here is you want to go ahead and select all the segments, every segment right here. And then you come down over here to landscape spline meshes and you want to add an element on here. And then you want to add a mesh. You could just search up roads there. You got a racetrack, the mud track looking, you know, mesh here that you can put in, but we're just going to go ahead and use roads straight for this first one, just to demonstrate. And there you go. Look at that. It just applied the roads, you know, on here and like, look, it looks fantastic already. Now there are a few little hiccups on some things. Uh, like if you notice right here, the grass and stuff is all coming through here. Uh, now there are some two different ways that you can kind of control this and change the way that, you know, looks is you could come over here to the center adjust and you can adjust this. to let's say like 20 and it raises the spline up, you know, completely uh, off of the terrain a little bit. But if you notice some still comes through, the problem is about doing this is that it actually then will form a gap between the terrain and this. I highly suggest if you do want to raise it up a little bit, only raise it just an ever so tiny bit, but it really you don't even have to raise it that much, but let's just raise it five. So it's really not raising it much at all on there. Um, and if you notice, even though from far away, this looks like it's you know, uh, messed up with that, but as you get closer and everything, it's actually not, it's just the texture of that on there. So. The thing is right here, we have a whole bunch of grass coming through our road and we can't have that. So what you would do is go over to the paint area and all you would do is paint underneath whatever road you want. So, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and paint a bunch of stuff underneath the road. Oh, my bad. I accidentally did that on the spline layer. Make sure you always switch your layers on here. Uh, and then you go ahead and paint on there. Like I'm just going to go ahead and paint that and look at that and see how it makes everything disappear there. So that's all you would do is just paint underneath the road and everything, all the grass would disappear right there. So you can paint it whatever you want, but I'm going ahead and using gravel here, uh, just cause to me that makes the most sense, you know, especially on the side of a road, you can go ahead and have the gravel and it, you can make everything, but you can of course paint it whatever you want. If you're on a sandy looking environment, you could paint it sand here or just anything, whatever else you want on there. But if you notice, it removes all the grass from the actual you know, road here. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. And if you wanna go in and actually adjust the road itself, 
uh, like let's say you want to go in and be like, man, no, I kind of want, I kind of want the road to come out a little bit more. Let's say on this mountain piece right here. Like you could go in here and you can adjust things through this, you know, rotation and scaling and stuff. Uh, you can raise and lower it like this if I wanted to, and then the terrain will reform up against it. Uh, now let's say you want this part of the road right here to kind of have like a bank. There you could go into the rotation. Let's go ahead and rotate the road sideways like that. So it has a nice little bank there on that. So, you know, you could just mess around with it just however you want. You can, of course, make some really weird things. Eventually it kind of breaks, <laughs> so don't go too far. Uh, but yeah, you can really form some strange things and stuff if you need to or have a super hard bank there so that way if let's say you're going really fast with a motorcycle or something you can really you know make that bank turn right there so overall this is a very simple thing to be able to do i hope this helped y'all out i will be coming out with more simple uefn tutorials so be sure to subscribe uh you know for that also i, I will be coming out with more uh just you know p games and maps that people have made uh to just kind of feature and showcase them so uh, stay tuned for more stuff i hope you all enjoyed this video be sure to leave a comment down below on what you would like to be able to see uh you know else in uefn and also um you know be sure to like the video and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next one